Well, I try to be cool, but I'm too dorky I like sneakers, black helmets and outdoor gear I fought the battle of cool and fell dismally It don't matter if my guitar sounds funky Or if I cycle trick helly hell Even if I gon' get a PhD I'm not cool next to them with the money But maybe I think I'm the one who's lucky I know cool something of a cultural ambition But tell me this, if you made a decision Would you screw your friends and family, spend cash to be cool? Uh, what I do for a living is I teach 8th graders math. Kids, always wear your helmets. A good math teacher. Mr. Lopez is a good math teacher because he never gives up and he always helps me. He's very confident in my math skills. I think Mr. Lopez is a really good math teacher because he actually like sits down with you and teaches you and helps you go through it individually one on one, which I think is really important for math because sometimes it's really hard to get if you're just learning it in a big classroom. Mr. Lopez is a good math teacher because at first when you have a problem, he lets you struggle with it. And then he explains it to you very thoroughly. Uh, Mr. Lopez is a good math teacher because he teaches me problems I don't know how to do. Mr. Lopez is a good math teacher because he's, he's really funny while he um, teaches me math. Mr. Lopez is a very great math teacher because he is very helpful and he will stop at nothing to teach a kid something he, they don't know. He, like at lunch you can come in and he can teach you one on one and it's easy, easy to understand if you're one on one. And then he also puts you in table groups which helps if you need, like the table group people can help you if you need help. Mr. Lopez is a good math teacher because he always teaches me the problems and you know he never gives up and he'll be there after school during break time and he even comes on Saturdays. I have. Um, back in 1978, I was cycling to work here in October, and it was dark, early morning, and it was dark, and some guy came up behind me and fell asleep and went off the road and hit me. Oh. I love to bike. It's, it's really a great feeling. <laughs> 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 I'm excited to spend a whole week biking with my favorite teacher, Mr. Lopez, and all my friends. I have worked with Mr. Lopez for about the last six years uh, in, at McMurray, but I've known him a little bit longer. But Almost ten years. Since 1979. So, however many years that is. You know, I think I started working with Mr. Lopez about 10 years ago. Oh, gosh, forever. My first year was 1962. So, that would make it 48 years. He's quite, uh, quite entertaining, and uh, he's a, a great math teacher and uh, someone who really is dedicated to, to students. So I've definitely enjoyed working with Mr. Lopez. Yes, he's quite a character. <laughs> what is your best moment with Mr. Lopez? My best moment? Well, I have to say that it's entertaining working with him. He always has a very good sense of humor, and he leaves me the longest messages on the phone when he needs technology assistance. I will stand there and listen to his message and then my class comes in so I have to hang up and then I pick it up and I listen to his message and he's still talking about his technology 
problems because often the projector's not working or the computer's not working and he's not real comfortable with all that stuff. So I end up eventually just hanging up and going down and talking to him about it because it takes so long. How many gallons of gas do you think Mr. Lopez has saved during the years? Wow. Hmm. Biking as much as he does, and I bike to work too. I, wow, uh, boy. See, so biked for like 40 some years, I think. So I would just take a random guess at 5,000 gallons. Totally off, probably, but I'll guess. I have a huge respect for Mr. Lopez, and we've been friends for a lot longer than, than that. And so I really enjoyed working with him. He's very inspirational. He's the most dedicated teacher I've ever come across. Uh, he uh, he works a day and night. You know he does. He's there during break. He's there during lunch to help kids, and uh, after school Saturdays. It's just like this is his life. My most memorable moment with with Mr. Lopez was a time when I came to the classroom and he was teaching students uh, the YMCA song uh, that was done to the quadratic formula. So I think it's it's Y equals MX plus B, right? Is that, I don't have all my gestures right, but definitely that that was a uh, Kodak moment for, for Mr. Lopez to, to hear him uh, teaching the YMCA song to the quadratic equation. I like it, yeah. I mean, I think it's a good thing. Uh, and I think if you know more people could find it convenient to cycle, then it might make a good difference.